All right, so in this video, we're going to add tags to our posts. So, all right, so let's go to our post new page. So right now, user, user can type in title and the body. And I want user to be able to uh, type in some tags. So post can have many tags and you can search post through the, using those tags. So let's create a git branch get checkout dash b and I'll call it tags. All right, so let's think about what tables we need in our database. So a one post can have many tags and one tag can have many posts. So that's many to many relationship. And there's two ways to do many to many relationship in Rails application. So if you go to Rails guide and about association, you can see that there's has many through association and has and belongs to many association. These are the two so um, uh, methods or these are the two ways to do many to many relationships in Rails application. And we're going to be using has um, has many through association for this feature. So let's create some models. So we're going to have post model and tag model and we're going to we're going to need another model that connects those two posts and tag models. So let's run rails generate model for tag and tag going to have name. And let's create another one for uh for the middleman that's uh tagging and this is going to have a uh, post ID, so post references and tag references. All right, so let's run that. And then let's take a look at these two migration files. So let's open that up in the text editor and let's go to db migrate. Take a look at the last two files. All right, so let's take a look at this one first. So this one's gonna create tags table and tags tables have string column with for name and some timestamps. And the tagging table, taggings table has post ID and tag ID. And so it has foreign key true and index true. So that looks good. So let's run rake db migrate. All right. So now let's let's define those association between the models. So open up app app models tag .rb, and I'm gonna open up app models tagging .rb. So Rails automatically added these two lines. So tagging belongs to post and tagging belongs to tag. So let's add the other side of the association. So for tag has many taggings and taggings. And I'm gonna add destroy, oh, dependent, destroy. So when this tag gets deleted, this tagging uh, get destroyed as well and do so has many tag has many posts through this taggings so this is how you do many to many relationship so let's do let's define that association the other side of the association from post model so let's open up at models post.rb and let's define that here has many post has many taggings and I'll do dependent destroy and has many tags and through this taggings all right so that's all you have to do for this many to many relationship so let's check that in our console so let's go to our terminal and then run rails c 
So if let's get our first post. So post dot first. Uh, post. Oh, I have a typo somewhere. Depend. All right. Deep. Dependent. Depend. All right. Dependent. All right. So let's go back to our terminal and then reload. All right. Let's get our first post. All right, so now if you say post.taggings and post.tags, it works. Um, currently, this post doesn't have any tags, so it gives you back this empty active record association collection proxy. So, but it's working. And let's do the other side of that. So let's create some tag. So I'll say tag create name and let's do music. And now let's create another tag name travel. And let's say this post have this tag. So let's get our first tag tag equal tag dot first. So it's going to get that music tag. And this, let's say this post has this tag. So let's, you can use this Ruby's uh, array method. And it's gonna get this is gonna get appended to this tags array. So, and it got this tag got inserted into this taggings table. So it has that association between this post and this tag. So if you say post dot tags dot size, it returns one. So that tag, you can see that that tag got attached to this post. All right, so that's working. Let's go back to our text editor and now. Let's let's take a look at our form in our browser. So currently we have title and body. So we're gonna add another field for our tag. So let's go to at views posts new.html.erb and basically I'm just gonna copy this and then paste that below body. And we need to change this to something that relates to uh, our tags. So let's take a moment and think about what we're going to do to support this feature. So basically, user is going to type in some string in this text field. Something like music, comma, uh, cold play, or something like that. And we're going to take that string, and then we're going to create some tags if it doesn't exist yet. And it's going to create those tags, and then make uh, create that association between post that just created just got created and the tags that was attached to that post so post have to have post object have to have um, that method so let's implement that in our post.rb file so let's go back here and I'm just gonna make this a little bigger so first we have to define the method assign assignment method so I'll call it all tags and this is an assignment so you have that equal sign and this is gonna take in a string I'll call it names and this name is something like uh, you know music uh, let's do Spotify alright so you take this string and you create tags if it doesn't exist yet and then make sure that it's associated with this specific post that just got created. So let's do that. So basically what you want to do is assign an array of tags to this tags. So let's see how that works in our console. We'll see and then let's get our second post. And Okay, tag one. So let's get our first tag. And let's get our second tag. All right, so what you want to do is assign that those two tags to this post. So you 
say tag one and tag two, this post have these tags. And if you assign this array to these tags, Active Record gonna understand what it does, uh, what what you want to do with this line here. So if you uh, you can see that in, this got inserted into taggings table. So that's what you want, that's what we want to do with this method. We want to have something take this name string and then create music tag and Spotify tag, and you want to do something like that. But so we have to translate this into this. The way we're gonna do it is first this. Let's split this string with a comma. Now this is gonna return us an array, so we can map that. And then so it's gonna take individual name. So let's try to find that tag in our tag table. If it does find it, it just return so you can use this active record method first or create. So what, what it does is take this active relation and then it's it says if it finds a tag with this name it's gonna return that object but if it doesn't find it if that doesn't exist it's gonna create that tag and then return that object. So this gonna this basically these three lines gonna create an array of that those tags. Alright so let's test that out in our console. So let's reload that. So let's say let's grab the last post and let's say all tags equals music and cold play. And that created two tags in our database. So now this post have tag of size of two. Great. So that's working. So now um, let's so this is an assignment method. So let's this is kind of a setter method. So let's define a getter method. So all tags. This should return us a string of tags. So in that case, in our case, if we run post all tag, this should return us um, music and cold play. It doesn't it doesn't just yet because we haven't implemented this method, but we're gonna do it right now. So what we want to do is fetch the, those tags and we're gonna map it and then map has this shorthand ampersand name and we're gonna join it with a comma and a space and that's it so let's test it out let's get our post last alright so let's do all tags and it does return us this string. Well, that's great. So we can use these two methods or just one this method in our form. So here we can just say all tags and all tags. All right, let's whitelist that in our controller. So uh, for this post params, permit all tags. All right, so let's test it out in our browser. Come back here and then refresh. All right, so let's do Beats Headphones. Beats Headphones are great. <laughs> and beats beats well spotify i like spotify so all right let's publish that there you go so but well, you can't really see the tags in our post panel so let's display that so let's go to tab 
um, app views post. So post partial, let's let's define let's display that post all tags. So if you refresh the page, you can see those tags in each of these post panels. So that's great. All right, so we I want to cover one more method. We're not going to use that method in this video, but we're going to certainly we're going to need this in our future episodes. So so let's go back to our console and say I want to fetch all posts that have tags of music. But there is no way to do it from post class because we haven't implemented that class method yet. So what I want to do is say post tagged with and some give it some string. So this is going to return us an array of posts with tag music. So let's implement that in our post RB. So because this is a class method, you say self dot tagged with then tag name and if you come to the console the way you would do this is you gonna find the tag with music and rather you can use find by and let's assign that to tag variable so now this tag have many posts. So that's how you get all the posts with a tag of music. So that's what we're gonna do here. So let's say tag find by, and I want this to raise an error if it can find one. So name and then posts. So that's it. Let's test that out in our console. All right, so let's run post tagged with music and it returns an array of posts with the tag of music so great so that's it for this episode and so let's before we end this episode let's merge that branch into master so let's commit that first Allow users to add tags to post. Alright, so let's go back to master branch and merge that in. Alright, so that's it for this episode and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.